Hey guys, I am Kyle and in today's video I am going to show you CapCut vs DaVinci Resolve, which editor should you use? So let's get started. So the first one here is CapCut. We will be comparing this two platforms side by side. So the first one is their overview. So CapCut right here is developed by ByteDance. It's a user-friendly mobile video editing app. It offers a range of tools designed for quick edits and is ideal for creating contents on the go. CapCut has gained popularity due to its simplicity accessibility, making it a favorite among TikTok and Instagram users. Now, let's head over into DaVinci Resolve right here. So this is DaVinci Resolve and DaVinci Resolve is developed by Blackmagic Design. It is a professional grade video editing software. It's known for its powerful features, including advanced color correction, visual effects, and audio post-production. DaVinci Resolve is widely used in the film and television industry and offers a free version with extensive capabilities. So this is the use of AI in DaVinci Resolve. And as you can see, when you go back up, you can see that it is used in Marvel movies right here. It is featured here. So now the next thing would be ease of use. So CapCut is designed for simplicity. Its intuitive interface allows users to quickly trim, cut, and add effects to their videos. It's perfect for beginners and those who need to make quick edits on their mobile devices. It also has a CapCut desktop available and it's perfect for any device that you would have. And the drag and drop functionality and easy access to filters, transitions, and music make it a go-to for social media and content creation. Now, the Venture Resolve, on the other hand, as you can see right here, has a steeper learning curve. As you can see in the interface, is packed with professional tools and features which can be overwhelming for beginners. However, for those willing to invest time in learning DaVinci Resolves, it would offer you unparalleled control and precision. It includes a range of tutorials and resources to help users master its capabilities. Now let's go to features and functionality. So CapCut offers essential editing tools such as trimming, splitting and merging clips, adding text, stickers and effects, and adjusting speed. Also the background music, you can also do that here in CapCut. And as you can see, we have its features right here. Remove background, image upscaler, AI color correction. These are advanced options that you can get in CapCut with easy controls. It's almost like it would only take you three clicks in order for you to AI color correct or old photo restoration and so on because it is automatically done by AI. You don't need to do the complex editing of options and values of something that you don't even know. And you can also include AI powered features. So it is already here and automatic captions and background removal. So CapCut would shine on that, making it a powerful tool for quick and creative edits. Now let's go into DaVinci Resolve. So DaVinci Resolve is a comprehensive editing suite that includes modules for editing, color corrections, visual effects, motion graphics, and post-production. It offers multi-camera editing, 3D compositing, advanced keyframing, and support for high resolution formats. Its color grading capabilities are industry-leading diffusion module allows for intricate visual effects work. Now let's go into the performance. So CapCut performs exceptionally well on mobile devices, offering smooth and efficient editing experiences even in older smartphones. The same goes for the PC version of CapCut. It doesn't really require that much high specs. It still runs smoothly based on my experience, even if you don't have that high specs. And DaVinci Resolve, on the other hand, is only available on the PC version and it would require a more powerful computer to run efficiently. It can handle large files and complex projects with ease, but its performance is heavily dependent on the hardware you have. So now in terms of pricing, so CapCut is free to use. You don't have to pay anything in order for you to use it, but it does have some in-app purchases. So which means there are transitions, effects, and whatsoever that is only available on the pro version. And of course you would have to pay for the premium or pro subscription in order for you to use the 
those pro features that CapCut has. And now DaVinci Resolve, on the other hand, has DaVinci Resolve Studio. So this is, um, this is a paid version, but it also offers a free version with a vast array of features with DaVinci Resolve. But if you prefer DaVinci Resolve Studio, then you would have to pay for this one. So uh, DaVinci Resolve Studio is basically available for a one-time purchase of $295. Uh, the studio version includes additional effects, higher resolution support, and collaborative features. As you can see right here in the bottom, uh, you can see that this is the price, 295 and the DaVinci Resolve only would be the free one right here. And you can download it into the website. And now let's go into the conclusion. So choosing between CapCut and DaVinci Resolve depends on your needs and experience level. So if you're a beginner or need a quick, easy to use mobile editor for social media content, CapCut is the way to go. It's free, straightforward, and packed with creative tools. Now, if you're a professional aspiring video editor looking for a comprehensive editing suite with industry standard features, DaVinci Resolve is the better choice. It offers powerful tools for color correction, visual effects, audio editing, and making it suitable for high-end video production. So ultimately, both, both CopCut and DaVinci Resolve have their strengths and your choice should be on your specific requirements and level of expertise. So that is basically it on this video on which one you should choose, CopCut or DaVinci Resolve. Thank you for watching.